Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters. Also, if you guys could do me a favor, tell me how this new mic sounds. I know I don't sound very much different because, well, it's my mo my voice is my voice and it just always will sound weird to me when played back through audio. But, man, what can you do? If, the, if it's too fuzzy, you hear some screeching or something like that in the background. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it and i try to find a way to fix that kind of stuff, but if it's... Even the smallest details bother you guys, make sure you let me know. Here's the world map, where we fight monsters! Oh, here's a new one. The Anteater. Now, for monster bios, in order to do the monster bio, I have to have them in a page in the library. Now, for the first one, the slime, I didn't have access to the library, so I had to take a screenshot from another save file. Whoa! Holy crap, they did a lot of damage. Let's use an herb. So, from now on, I can only do monster battles for monsters I've gotten, not monsters I've seen. It's unfortunate, but that's how the cookie crumbles. Don't worry though, I think we'll get through every monster. Ooh, an anteater is looking at us. And when the anteater looks at you, it's telling you, I want, I want to go with you. Luck is a funny name. Now, if here's what the naming system does. You can either name it, or you can get it to name itself, and it will always be in capital letters, unfortunately. And some of the names are just kind of funny. I don't want to name my anteater Bird. I thought that gives me a nice idea, though. I will name it Bert. Wait, no, it's a girl. Hmm. Awkward. It's an... It's an... Hmm. I got it. DW. That is what I will name it. And you get the option of taking with you or, or without you. Well, of course we're going to answer yes. Now, unlike... It's much similar to the first Dragon Warrior games, the Dragon Warriors 1 and 2, I believe, you only get three monsters to follow you. Eh, but that's all you get. Wait, how much HP do you have? Holy cow, only 9 HP! Well, we'll explain this kind of stuff later. For, for now, know that the Anteater hits hard but doesn't... Hits hard but takes hits hard as well. Oh, another anteater. Oh, whoa! Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, and the first dungeon the first dungeon doesn't hold back. They just starts it just starts throwing punches at you. Fortunately, I think our anteater, combined with our slime, will wipe the floor with them. Alright, we got him. And in this game, experience is scaled. That means that if you have only one monster with you, you'll get more experience. Same goes for having more singles if you have three compared to two. Having three monsters gives you the least amount of experience possible, but it is spread amongst all party members. Now if you look at select, select, se select. There we go. You can see the field, although it's not as detailed as you want it to be. The white spaces stuff you can go on and the brown spaces stuff you can go on. And the feather marks your location. Once we get the third monster we can possibly get, I'll go over stats. But not the monsters themselves. Ooh, there's the third monster, a Draki, which is, yes, a play on words for the Dracula bat. This one doesn't suck your blood though. Ow! Although it does still pack a punch. Oh, never mind. Can't take a hit either. Alright, level 2. Maybe we'll get some more HP. Yes, you did. A lot of attack power, too. Ah, but we didn't get it. Well, we're gonna have to wait, then. We don't have that many herbs, though. We might have to... We might be... We need to be careful. We might have to die and restart, but... Oh, that's part of the game. In... When all of your monsters collapse, or die, they die by being in gravestones. There we go. They... You get sent back to the Kingdom of Great Tree with all your items gone and half your gold that you currently have. Ow. Eat this. Yeah, what? Ah, oh, it still doesn't want to come with us. There's a small chance, every time you beat a monster, there's a small chance it'll join you. The monster that joins you will be the last one you defeat, though. You can't, 
you have to defeat the one you want last, which gets makes things a little complicated, but there's ways to alleviate that. But I'll be showing those battle commands later. Ooh, an herb. I'm gonna need that. Ah! An anteater? We don't need you. Get out of here. It is possible to get two of one monster, but it's extremely difficult compared, compared to getting the first one. I do not recommend that. And you can't do it now anyway. You're gonna need a special. You're gonna need other items in order to get it to work. Oh wow, we are in a big map right now. I like to go full map. I like to get every item. Well, sometimes every item, but I like to get see the entire map to see if I can get something rare or not. In this case, well, no, we're not gonna get anything rare. But I do want to get some herbs if I can. Ow, man, it always goes for the weak guy for some reason. And we got, we took it down, and it wants to join us. All right, let's take it with us. I'm gonna name you. Well, you're a girl. Dang it, not again. I want to name it Bram after Bram Stoker, but that doesn't work either. Uh, what do you want to name yourself? Bony. That is not a name for a girl, but that is okay. All right, now we have all three of them. So let's go over. Whoa, whoa, not, not you. Thankfully, if you don't need to use an herb on someone and nothing happens, you don't waste it. Convenient. Bony comes with a skill, Antidote. It cures poison. Useful for the starting... Useful for the beginning of the game. Now, if you see here, there are five stats on the top and two stats on the bottom. HP and MP are self... Self-explanatory, HP is the life force of a monster, and MP is the magical force of a monster. Attack is simply the power of a physical attack that you inflict. As you can see, the Anteater is really good at doing that compared to my other guys. Defense is, simple enough, defense. Agility is the speed of the monster. The ones with higher agility will attack first. In this case, Bony will attack first. Intelligence affects the effectiveness of your spells, and it's also, well, to be, to be simply put, in order to learn a spell, you must not only have the level you need to attain it, but also the stats. Intelligence is a big factor for getting certain spells. The last one, Wild, is a special stat. If wild is too high, I'm not quite sure which number it is, around the 50s it starts doing stuff. Wild affects the probability in which a monster will not listen to your command. Now, commands are a different story. Let's go to a fight and we'll show you. Now, these elements on the map aren't just for show. The brown things are hills and the green things are forests. In hills and forests, the encounter rate is much higher than it is on the regular old plain land. So if you really want to find a monster, go ahead and go into the hills. Alright, we got some levels. I'm gonna need to get some levels. I want to get to... I want everyone to be at least level 3. Now the practice file that I am getting the... Ooh, a slime! Hey, sneak attacks! Oh, that's not much of a sneak attack. The save file I'm going to be using is going to be one dungeon ahead of the other one, which me which allows me to get the screenshots and the information I need to get through that dungeon. So all the information will be pretty recent, unlike some of my other games, like Summon Night, where I hadn't played the game for a, quite a while, and some information was flubbed, but oh well. Come on, let's go. There are no other monsters in this dungeon, except for the boss, which is apparently Hail. Don't know what Hail is, maybe it's an ice-type monster. So once you get these three guys, that's it. Alright, we're all level 3, so let's hurry up and find the exit. I'll go over battle commands as soon... Actually, I want to look for herbs, too. Ooh, there's one. Gonna need that. Alright. There are some other complicated things we can talk about, but let's first go to the plan command. 
Now these are... This is where you can tell a monster to do things. Charge, Mixed, Cautious, and Command. The first three are Battle Attitudes. The, se the fourth one is a Direct Command. Much like what you can do now in Dragon Warrior 4 for the DS, which, yes, coincidentally, H.C. Bailey is playing. Where you can command your teammates to do certain things. Now, depending on your wild, commands may or may not work. The monster will either refuse to do it or do something completely different. And in self explanatory you can tell them to attack, use a skill, or defend. Now, for the battle attitudes, this is something different. Charge will prompt the monster to do whatever it feels will do the most damage to the enemy, whether it's attacking, using spells of offensive qualities, or... No, that's basically it. Spells or skills. Mix is a different one. It involves using buffs, debuffs, stat, stat, uh, stat afflictions, or sometimes even defending or attacking. It's a, it's a, it is a mixed bag. Cautious is one based on defense and healing, healing status elements, healing HP, or even passing on MP to the next person, which is a move called MP Pass. For this simple, for simplicity, you want all your buddies to do charge, since they don't have much of, much of anything, and we're not poisoned, so Bony doesn't need to do anything involving antidotes. That's basically it for uh, stra uh, for the intro. There's some complicated things that go into it later, but we'll discuss that. If you press A on a monster screen, you can see something, well, first a word, ordinary, spoiled, reckless, these will all be explained later. You get the breed name, the pedigree, from, which is from, its master name, and the current experience it has and the experience it needs for the next level. And these two are pretty close to the next level, maybe I can get them level 4. This screen has their skill sets, in which, well, they don't have that many. And the next screen shows their dad and their mom. These, well, you don't, we don't know these parents, but... We don't know the parents of these monsters, but oh well. That's because they were caught in the wild. Let's use an herb on Bony. Can't run out of herbs, we're gonna need those. But a level up would be nice as well. You know, maybe I should have done the monster introduction sooner. Oh well. This is the first intro dungeon, I'll fix that soon enough. Alright, is that the... Nope, it's not, the... it's not the last one. You can see the number, it says Field 3 out of 4. The final room is not, is not in this case, 4 slash 4. It's actually the floor after that. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, a slime. Well, that was easy. DW is level 4, and Bony is level 4. Good for us. Ooh, a nerve. That's what I wanted. Alright. Don't worry, I won't be scrounging around for items all the time. There's actually some good reasons you don't want to get any items. But we'll go into that later. Later, 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 later. There's all so much later we gotta do. Alright, where'd it go? Don't know. Good thing these maps are small. Otherwise, if they were huge, we'd get lost. Really easily, in fact. That's the last one, but is there any herbs around here? Are there any herbs around here? Excuse me, my grammar. I'm the slime! I don't think we're gonna get any level ups anytime soon, so whatever. But there's no reason to run. Ooh, there's the last herb. All right. These items are not preset. They are randomly splashed about the uh, map. All right, that's that. Four experience points. Yes, the monster that gives the most experience in this map is the anteater. I believe the Draki and the Slime give off the same amount of experience. And here we have the last room, the boss room! And there is Hale. He looks like a jellyfish. Um, and a chest that we can't reach or open. 
Well, before we approach Hail, let's get some herbs and get some healing on. Um, let's not be... That's fine. That's good enough. I'll heal during the fight if I need to. How do you do? I am Hale. I know you are here to catch me, but you can forget it. The farm is boring. I don't want to go back. Well, too bad. We're taking you in. A healer monster. And, like its name suggests, it heals. Hmm. One moment, second. Sorry about that little blip. Had to take care of a small emergency, but it's not always going to be like that. Let's use the healing herb on DW. And like the name suggests, Healer is, well, a healer. He heals. Himself. Over and over and over again. This fight can actually be pretty annoying and tough on beginners if they don't have the proper healing, which is her herbs in this case. But if you get high enough levels, you'll be able to overpower the heal. Heal is a move I believe does the same thing as... Ooh! A battle cry! Sometimes a monster will shout a battle cry, or get a critical hit. This is dependent on another factor, but we'll get into that later, like I said. But just know that it randomly happens. It also works for healing and other spells. Let's see here. As long as you have the high levels and uh, good enough healing, a healthy stock of herbs, you'll be able to overpower him soon enough. His MP isn't a limitless fountain. All monsters and enemies in this game have a limited amount of MP and HP. It's not like bosses who have like an unlimited amount of MP or anything like that. That's just ridiculous. And we knocked out the healer. And it's got up and is looking at us. So we'll take the healer into our party. Let's take Hale. Keep his name, by the way. And let's take him with us. We're going to replace... Hmm. I hate to do it, but let's replace Slid. I like you too. Right on, I'll take you back to the castle. I did bring back Hale, but he doesn't want to come back to you. He'd rather join me! Ha 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 ha! Well done indeed. Good for you, dude. The arena, huh? Busy, busy, busy indeed. Is it just me or the screen a little fuzzy? Did I stretch it a little? Hmm. I'll fix it next time. So you get through the arena, go straight out the castle, and go down. If I survive, we can compete in the tournament. You could train in the in the place you just caught Hale in, or you can just go straight to the arena. I'm gonna go straight to the arena because I have sufficient levels. And for saving Puglia, we will get a secret. A sky dragon is flying over the farm. If you wait under, something good will happen. I'm going to pick up Slip again. If you press pick up and you have three monsters already, you pick the one that you want to re uh, replace. In this case, I want to replace Boney because I realized, well, there's no real reason I need to do that. Alright. What is this secret Puglia was telling us about? How will we fare in the arena? Why didn't I do monster bios? Well, all that will be revealed next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters. This is DMY27, wishing you a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone. Gotta love that music.